Today I am sharing some of my all-time favorite Dollar Tree high-end DIYs to bring you an overload of inspiration. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, it really helps me out here on YouTube, and let's go ahead and get on into crafting. First up, I was dying to use some of these seasonal signs that I have had for a long time left over from last year. So I knew I could recreate this into a gorgeous, like nicer, high-end looking piece that would actually match my everyday decor. So I am removing the 3D pieces on the front and flipping this over to the back. I do like to cover the back of my signs either with a coat of paint or I'm gluing some craft paper and cutting that down to size, but I hate leaving the back really busy and messy just in case anyone ever sees it but I am going to be painting on the back I painted a light coat of white paint so you could still see a little bit of the darker wood board behind it and then I wanted to create a wooden frame and I am using my tower blocks from Dollar Tree and laid them out the sides were shorter than three blocks but too big for two so I did have to cut a little piece using my miter shears so I was able to cut through the tower block and get the perfect size piece to fill in the sides and then I'm going to go in and stain these little block pieces with some of my favorite Rust-Oleum stain which is called Flagstone that I picked up from Walmart. I am going to be gluing these little blocks on top of the sign, but to go ahead and get a perfectly straight line, I'm using the edge of the sign as a guide to go ahead and glue them all in a straight line. I repeat this two times and then glue them on the front of the sign on the edge so they are really going to stay nice and tight on there. Nothing's going to fall apart. And then I am using one of Dollar Tree's huge wall decals. I love when I, they put out like one large word like this. It's just so beautiful. I chose the word blessed. I love the little leaf and floral detail at the top. I think it is so gorgeous. So I just stuck that down in place, but I don't want this decal like rolling up or anything. So I am protecting it with a coat of Mod Podge, letting that completely dry. And that's how easy it is to make a gorgeous farmhouse sign from the Dollar Tree. I made an entire video on how to use Dollar Tree toilet plungers, which is so crazy how many things you can do with them. They are like, they have like a nice sturdy wood handle and you can't get like anything from Crafter Square that's that large for a dollar. So these are perfect to cut down and make decor with. So I thought it would be fun to kind of make like a cross shape to make a little DIY scale, or this is actually a large scale. So I cut down one of the plunger handles a little bit smaller and that's going to go crossways and then I left the long one a little bit taller and it fits down inside this little candle holder from Dollar Tree perfect so you can definitely test that out when you are in the store and try to find something that is going to hold that handle up really nice and tight and then I am using liquid nails as well as a screw to place these together because I am going to be putting some weight on both sides and hanging little planters off there so I want this to be as sturdy as possible After painting the entire thing black, I'm going in with a couple of these small little galvanized tubs. These were actually from Dollar General, and you can see that you can actually take off the words with just a little bit of fingernail polish remover. So it did take a little bit of elbow grease. I kind of rubbed it on there with an old cloth and it came off, but I was so happy to get these plain little tubs. I think they are adorable, but if you can't find them, Dollar Tree has little buckets with handles in all types of colors. So I wanted these to hang up with this really cool little chain. This is in like the little floral section at Dollar Tree. So I am going to be hot gluing this at three different points in the bucket and then I'll put my little greenery in there, but it is such a cool idea to get to hang these little buckets off of here, and it looks nicer with the chain in my opinion. Yes. 
The little hooks do want to slide off of this, so to help that, as well as add a little bit of extra decor to this piece, I wrapped the ends with some jute twine, and I love how it turned out. I found one of these little tack hooks, and then hung a little Hobby Lobby sign from the middle, and I just love it so much more with that little sign. You could DIY one from Dollar Tree if you needed, but I think this is like hands down one of my favorite projects. Next up, I grabbed some of Dollar Tree's little terracotta pots, as well as this wooden circle from Hobby Lobby, and then a dowel rod. I want to make a mini version of the Tipsy Turvy planters that are so popular all over Pinterest and Instagram. These are adorable, but have you ever tried to make a mini version of them? So this turned out so cute. I love it. I am using liquid nails to hold my little dowel rod up. I painted the terracotta pots white, and then I'm going to be filling it full of succulents um, from the Dollar Tree, as well as some really cool hanging succulents from Walmart. I did stain the stand with more of this flagstone stain that I love so much and then just kind of wiped away the excess. You don't have to drill the holes at an angle, just normal holes in the bottom and you just kind of set these sideways. I put a little block underneath so it wouldn't fall down and tack these in place, but I just think this is the easiest project and it just is so adorable in my kitchen. So I didn't want to have to cut down styrofoam, so I just filled the little pots with those styrofoam balls from the Dollar Tree and then stuffed in those little succulents. These are the hanging succulents that I love, but this is so cute. A very inexpensive project, but something I'll definitely keep for years to come. Last month, my Dollar Tree had a ton of these wooden pencil holders. These are perfect for DIYs. I took a couple of them and painted them gold and a couple more and painted them white and then gluing them on top of each other, I made like these larger planters. So these turned out really cool. I love that they're like this real wood so it looks like nice quality. They're really sturdy. As you can tell though, when you do stack these up, the holder is actually only as big as the top little cup, so you couldn't put like long floral stems in there, but these are perfect to cut down any succulent or plant and just stuff it in the top. But I feel like these just are so pretty and elegant. They add height to any space. You can make a few of these and even turn them into like candle holders. You could put a candle holder plate at the top, but I love how these turned out. And I am obsessed with using these hanging succulents that I pick up from Walmart. I love mixing different materials and um, especially whenever you're setting like planters together. So this little ceramic pot looks so cute alongside these little wooden ones and then styled it with some of my favorite boho decor. I was amazed whenever I figured this little Dollar Tree hack out, and that was to pick up some of these little wooden pieces that kind of have mini little planks connected together and taking my miter shears and angling the top. So you can see I'm just cutting a tiny little piece of the corner off each side and it makes like a little picket fence looking piece. So then I glue these together, four of them to make a square and this makes a perfect planter. Now I am making this for summer so I am putting some colorful flowers in there but these will be perfect for our fall DIYs. I'm going to have to make another version of this and just put a little pumpkin on the front. I think it is so adorable so I'll have to keep an eye out for more of these little wooden pieces. I'm not seeing them as often, so I hope Dollar Tree is keeping on restocking them or have plans on bringing them back, but so many things you can do with these and just giving them a whitewash of white paint. They look so cute and more like a little picket fence. Two 
to make this even more cute, I add in one of the leftover metal hearts from Valentine's Day. Um, I use the Valentine's signs on so many things, so I pull off these little hearts in 3D pieces and always save them, and they're perfect for dressing up pieces just like this. These little wooden tags are fairly new to my store, so I picked up several of them, and they are perfect for making little menu boards for your kitchen. You can hang this off of like a shelf that has little knobs or hooks on it, but I decided to just completely cover over the entire tag with a piece of scrapbooking paper and cutting it down to size, and then I can actually replace the little chalkboard that came with it right back on there, so not having to do a lot to that. But if you don't have these exact tags at your Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree always puts out little tag shaped signs like this. Even bigger sometimes, you can make your own little DIY chalkboard or pick one up from Craft or Square. And then I am using some of my favorite font letters that I pick up from Hobby Lobby. But Dollar Tree also has wooden letters. I painted them black and then just added some extra details around the edges with a black paint marker. But this just took a couple of minutes to put together and turned out so adorable. And you can actually use this day to day and write fun little things, especially if you're having guests over. But just a cute little sign to make. I love making like larger signs and pictures for my home. I was actually inspired by this sign from Kirkland's and it looks like a little scroll or a large scroll on the wall with these wood like planks at the top and the bottom. So I am using some of Walmart's large paint sticks. These are so inexpensive, like a dollar for three of them and they're so big. So I cut them down using my miter box so that I could put at the top and the bottom of one of these Dollar Tree canvases. Now I am using the canvas that is completely flat and this works perfect for this because it will lay flush against the boards and I am taking another piece of wood to connect both of these together and I will put some like surface area in the back and be able to really hold it nice and tight when you flip it over you won't be able to see that it is attached in any way. I am using another one of Dollar Tree's large wall decals and removable stickers. I love this quote. It says, be patient, be gentle, be humble, and be loving. I think it is adorable. I like how I was able to stack it all up and it fit perfect. And then tying on a jute twine string, wrap some twine around both sides of the bottom piece of wood, and then added in a couple of little wooden embellishments. I also made an entire video on using these wooden blocks, which I am obsessed with. If I see more at Dollar Tree, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. But I thought it was such a cool idea to actually stack these on top of each other to make like a tiered planter and fill this full of my favorite succulents. So using an upside down candlestick holder um, so I get more surface area down in the bottom, I glued these together, let it dry, and then just put in my favorite greenery. It only took a couple of minutes to make this, but it is such a cute, fun piece that I am still using to this day and love it it adds so much like greenery and goes perfect for like farmhouse boho decor All of these DIYs that I'm sharing today can be altered for fall and Christmas season by just adding in different types of like floral stems or more of like winter or Christmas like pine floral pieces. But 
for this craft, I wanted to take a small little canvas from the Dollar Tree. I removed the canvas itself and I am going to put it on a stand. So I glued it on this stand with some liquid nails as well as some hot glue. So it will hold it up until the liquid nails will dry in place, scraped away any excess paint and then painting it white. But I'm going to be hanging a little pot here and that's what you would be able to switch the floral out for. But this is such a fun, cool idea. I would love to make these on a larger scale. I didn't want to have to figure out macrame or try to worry about getting this to hang all fancy, so I took a piece of jute twine, just kind of twisted it, glued it to the bottom with a small piece of popsicle stick, and you can see you're able to pick up both sides to make this little handle. I tied it at the top and then hung it from this little eyelet hook. And then I just trimmed off the ends of some greenery pieces that I had left over, stuffed it full, but you could also add in flowers, um, but I am just loving how this turned out. Anthropology has some really cool items, but they are very pricey. So I loved this gold frame with the little floral details in the corner. And I knew I could make something like this using my Dollar Tree crafting stash. So I just picked out a frame that I had on hand. I love these white and gold frames from Dollar Tree. Um, in the anthropology frame, they had like some ferns um, on it as well as some tiny flowers. So I'm putting some ferns in the background and then cutting down the tiny flowers and gluing them in place. And then I can take this outside and give it a coat of the gold spray paint and it's going to get rid of all the color and make it look like one solid piece and you're not able to tell that the flowers aren't metal that they are just plastic so so crazy how this worked but I love it and I feel like something like this does not hurt at all to DIY and decorate with versus them paying that much extra just to get this style of frame. Another decor piece that I knew we could recreate and figure out for a lot less was this $80 like little collage picture holder. It was really cool looking, but it looks super simple to make. So I didn't want to pay the $80 whenever I knew I could make this for probably less than 10 and it was even cheaper than that. So I think I ended up spending like five bucks. So I am using a ton of Dollar Tree's paint sticks and then a couple of the Dollar Tree signs. So using my miter box, once again, I am cutting the sticks down to size and then gluing them with some liquid nails and hot glue on both of those Dollar Tree signs. I did want to make this in the same color, so I'm using um, the steel gray color, which is this medium gray, and then dry brushing over it with some of the elephant color, which is the darker color, making sure that I'm getting the sides uh, really well, and then placing them on this board. Now, I found this really cool hack. If you take some of the tower blocks, you can actually space these out perfect by placing one in between each piece, and then you'll get it like all straight and even and not mess up any. I feel like it looks so plain until I added in that extra darker gray color and just loved it. And then these were kind of the same hooks that was on the original piece. So I picked up these little hook pins and these did have like a thumbtack on the back of them. So I did cut it off with a wire cutter and then just glued them in place and hung some of my favorite little pictures and messages. This would be really cool for an office or like a center where you house like your calendar and stuff to hang little notes and to-do lists. But I thought this turned out really pretty and very similar to the original piece.
Another really fun way to use these long signs from Dollar Tree is to cut it up into thirds. So using my miter box once again, I was actually able to saw through this pretty easily. Um, it did take a minute or two, but it wasn't that bad. Cut these down into three pieces each, so I made sure that they were even, and then I'll be able to paint them and add some cute little words. This would be so cute that you could even make them like reversible, like put a fall um, forwards on one side and like regular home decor on one side. For this DIY, I actually was making a bathroom video, so I thought it would be fun to create these for the bathroom. So I am actually getting out my Cricut and I uh, typed up some cute little bathroom words. So this would be fun stacking these little blocks on a shelf. If you don't have a Cricut, these are so easy and plain to make. You could use Dollar Tree stickers and then just do a coat of Mod Podge over the top, but I love how these turned out and this is something I'll definitely be making more of. Thank you all for watching. Definitely leave in the comments which project was your favorite from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.